Hi everybody, welcome back to this new Wii episode for the STM32 F1. This is a quick hand-on and example for the 1602 LCD library. We will have a small example and see how we can control the LCD screen and how we can play a little bit with it. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create quickly a short program that will display a dynamic data in the, LC in the 1602 LCD. So as you can see here, I'm using the STM32F1. I'm just resetting the program and resetting the program so we can display some message. And after three seconds, by pushing this button, I can see that there is a conversion. So this is the integer and it gives you the equivalent of the ASCII code. So you can see the character and the equivalent of the a number to it. The library that we are using to make our example is inspired from the STM32F1 tutorial. So if you are interested to see more in details how this library is made and how to control the LCD display, please find the that link for this uh, tutorial in the description below. As usual, the code that we are going to share within this uh, tutorial is available on GitHub. The link is in, in, is in the description below. The C language will be the only language we are going to use within this um, video. And we are going to use the Kale version number 5 for uh, programming, building and loading in the STM32F1. The level required for this tutorial is quite beginner level as a quite very simple and straightforward to use. Then the hardware that we are going to use, as usual, the STM32F1 aka Blue Pill and a push button and the uh, 1602 LCD screen. Okay, so let's take a look quickly on the screen. So you can see here, this is all the screen that you can find. They always on the top left, they have one. And after that, at the end, they have 16. You do have 16 pins and you have two type of pin, a power pin and operation pins. So for the power pins, they are the pin 1, 2, 3, 15 and 16. You can power them as shown in this example. Also, V0 can be connected not directly to the ground, but to a variable resistance, which will be um, between the ground and the 5 volt. 5 volt, sorry. So in this example, I needed the full brightness, so I connected directly to the, the ground. Okay, then we do have the control pin or the operation pin. So pin number four, um, five and six are connected respectively to the port A, pin eight, nine and ten. And also we will have the uh, pin number 11 from the, the um, LCD display to 14 that will be connected to the port A, uh, pin number four to, to seven. Okay, so now we do have an idea about the connection. We can jump to our uh, example. Okay, so before jumping into the code, if you enjoy this content and like to stay tuned, just subscribe. So let me share with you now the circuit that we are going to use. So this is the circuit that we will have. <clears throat> and this is the LCD screen when just connected or power up. So there is no information for the moment coming from the STM32F1. And this is a push button that we will use to show the conversion between the ASCII and the Integer in the LCD screen. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. So this is the code that we will be shared with you guys in the library and the um, in the GitHub too. So this library is here that will be used. All of them have the link in the description for the uh, if you would like to get more information for how this library is made. Then, our, as, as said before, the, the pin setup will be for the 4-bit data communication. And this is the connection between the STM32F1 part and the LCD part. Good. So we, go, we are going to use first a simplified version of the, uh, the, this, this code. This version will be just focus on these two ones first. So we, are go we will need always the sysstick init to be initiated. Then we will have the LCD init. The LCD init is the code that will initialize and explain to the LCD which mode will be and everything. Then this code, this only code that you almost will need is the one that will show. So the first part of the code is do we, which line you would like to have the code and then which position of the code. So here let's, let's put it zero, zero first. Okay, and all the other code is commented. We will take a look quickly after seeing how this one is done. So if we 
just like this and let me mark this one smaller so if i run save and load the code i should see welcome to the wheel however i would like to put a little bit in the center so if i put one here and here i'll put six just to check and we build we load you see how we can control we can even reverse this one just to see how this is working uh, how this library is very easy straightforward to use okay you see it's quite very simple very quick so let's back again and make it correct this is one this is uh oh sorry it's opposite so this is two and this is one okay let's save it build it and load it and we are back to the normal situation that we have okay so we we understand how this is used but mainly when we do have this lcd we would like to see some variable some dynamic variable happening and this is the example that we will use to to make this some dynamics so what we are going to take let me uncomment this to one so for this one after th three seconds we will have here the integer and the ascii code so what will happen so let's save and if i put like this it will wait for three seconds and then i should see yeah that's a good thing so you see here if i don't remove the whole space the part of the previous code is still there so what i need to do is to add another space here save and just load and here i will load so we should wait for three seconds and as you can see there is no co anything else here as kind of rubbish data good so now what we are going to do is each time we are going to click on this push button we will see the ascii number here and the integer so from 0 to 125 we can see the equivalent of the integer in the ascii code and this is quite very simple so we could we took this one this code here and we put it as a digital input for the pa the port a pin number 11 and after that so each time we do have this port a as if it's clicked or on let me remove here so we are going to convert so this is coming from the help function.h so we will go to convert the integer i to the string let me here uncomment both of them too so as the integer number here has more no more than 128 so we are going to do a string of three uh, only three digit and the uh, integer just an unsigned, unsigned i integer i so this part one this code here will convert i to a string let's put i yeah it's equal to zero so we will convert this to a string after that this command the lcd command this is really specific and you can have more details about this function in the tutorial but this one if you put lcd command 80 whatever after 80 will be appearing after this in the position of the first row if you would like to have the other row you have to put here the second row you have to put c and this is something that we don't need for the moment but this is really a specific detailed one so after that we are going to put lcd data so this function this function just send the data as it is so and as you know the communication or the connections works by using char and when i send the char number here the char it will send actually the equivalent for the ascii and to see the the code how will be happening so what we are going to use so we do have the lcd message here we need to clean whatever written in the previous time and after that we are going to send the string using the lcd message the same function that we used here finally we need to empty the string that we converted here and that's all so we just um, reinitialize i each time and wait for a short moment so let's save and build and load the code and see how things works 
So I will start pushing here and you see the ASCII number going slowly as the first number doesn't really have any ASCII equivalent. So actually it's the opposite. Yeah, that's quite interesting. So just to change it, it's quite simple. Two and one. So if I save, build, and we will see nothing will change. Okay, I need to add some space here again. If I load, I should have a clean picture. Okay, so, so here we do have the integer and then the ASCII number. And a little by little here, when we start 32, we start seeing the ASCII equivalent of the integer. So each time we click, we can see the number for each click and if we keep pushing it will go straight forward so you can see each ASCII code with the equivalent integer. Yeah that was all the code you can see in less than three minutes you could be able to have a four showing so you can use the same library to connect your STM32F1 with a sensor and making also the display on the 1602 LCD. That's all thank you a lot for following Woo!